Howie Roseman named top GM in the NFL, and he should be. It's not even close. And just get ready and watch what he's going to do this draft. Dallas still stinks. Do I do it, King Ding Bat? Here, are you surprised? even just a little bit, that Howie Roseman is named the number one GM in the NFL. I don't even think it's close. And we're talking about a guy who's not perfect, makes mistakes, but my gosh, will he be aggressive and take chances and do things that is totally unpredictable. And you know what? He's going to be unpredictable again in this draft. Howie Roseman is a wild card, and I love it. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, just double check, double moonwalk check. Make sure everything is still good, that there ain't no, uh, you know, Dallas Cowboys satanic ritual curses on, on the channel or on the stream or anything like that. You don't know how many chickens Mark Holmes and those Cowboy fans have been sacrificing this offseason. They are working triple time. I mean, the amount of chickens' heads coming off are absolutely insane. They're, 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 they're desperate. They're desperate. What can you say, you know? Now... Before we get into this video, there's two things I want to say uh, in regards to the running back situation. It looks like, from everything we're hearing, that the Eagles are going to draft a running back in this draft. It's going to happen, and I think it's going to happen within the first two rounds. My hope, it's either Bajan or Jamar Gibbs. I'll take either one of those guys. I'm happy with either one of those guys, okay? Um, so, to me, Bajan, best all-around running back. In the draft, Jamar Gibbs, most explosive running back in this draft. So I would take either one of those guys, um, you know, but uh, a Bleeding Green Nation, and I'll put the link in the description to, their, to, to the article, but they did a whole thing where it's like uh, Eagles News, draft rumor says, quote, running backs come up a lot in the Philadelphia plans. Pretty much everybody has been saying the Eagles – are talking about running back. They know they have to draft or they they have to draft a running back. They're going to need another running back in here. Penny, you know, he's a free agent signing, but with his injury history, you can't just trust it. So the the running back is definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of 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 who it will be. That we we really don't know, okay? And I, I thought this was interesting uh too. Uh, Mike Tannier put this up. Odds to draft Bajan Robinson from DraftKings. So the team with the best odds to draft him, the Atlanta Falcons. So the Falcons at plus 500, then the Cowboys at plus 550. That, to me, is a very, very scary scenario. Cowboys plus 550 to draft him, then the Chargers plus 600, then the Eagles plus 650. So a few weeks ago we did this. The Eagles are still the fourth best team odds-wise to draft him, but but that Dallas Cowboys, to me, I, I my personal opinion is that the Cowboys probably would be should have the best chance. I hate to say it, and I don't want it to happen, but I, I think the Cowboys are licking licking their chops at the hopes that that he'll he'll be he'll be there. They who knows? Maybe they'll trade up. Uh, Dallas really should be going offensive lineman, but we'll see. Now, uh, Greg Rosenthal. Uh, he did he did his best GMs right, and he ranked the best GMs. and And guess who was number one? Howie Roseman. That's right, Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. He said NFL GM power rankings: Eagles Howie Roseman reigns, while Brad Holmes makes his mark in Detroit. I think I think Detroit has done a great job. Here's what he said and wrote about about the Eagles and Howie Roseman. He says no team does it better. Better job using every avenue for player acquisitions, balancing current needs with the future. That's a very interesting thing he says there. The Jalen Hurts pick in 2020 was great. Example of forward thinking that changed the course of the franchise. And then he talks about Jurgens and Davis and the Kobe Dean, blah, 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 blah. 
He says, the Eagles are great at self-scouting and spend premium on line play. Lean Johnson, Mulata, Sweat. While finding ways to keep their productive longtime veterans like Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham. Most importantly, Roseman Nail bringing in players just about to hit their prime. Like A.J. Brown, Hassan Reddick, Hargrave, even though he's gone. And then it goes on to talk about Brad Bradbury and Slay. And basically, he talks about all the good things that Howie Roseman does. But what he misses here, in my opinion, uh, is what really makes Howie Roseman great. What really makes Howie Roseman the best GM in football. And it's his aggressiveness and his willing, his willingness to not go along typical lines of thinking. Howie Roseman takes risks. He takes chances. He, you can't box him in. You can't tell Howie Roseman, you can't draft this or you don't draft this or you don't do that. He doesn't follow that pattern. We have seen it broken up how many different times. Think about this, all right? And, 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 I, and, and really, I look at Howie as there's really like two incarnations of Howie Roseman. There's pre-Chip Dip Kelly, and then there's after Chip Dip Kelly, right? Pre-Chip Dip Kelly, uh, you know, Howie, it was known that he didn't get along with a lot of football people in there. A lot of football people apparently didn't respect him. And, um, you know, he, he did things a certain way. If you look at, after Chip Dip Kelly, Howie Roseman came back, and one of the things he knew he had to do is be aggressive. He had to be willing to be a leader, not a follower, to go against the grain, to do what other teams don't typically do, to do what is is not normally done, all while following and knowing that you have certain things that you got to adhere to most of the time, like you know, drafting the trenches, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, early in the drafts. But you also have to know when to look and see something and see an opportunity and pounce on it. Howie Roseman has done that better than anybody. That's what makes him the best GM in football. It's not all that other stuff. It's that. Think about these things. When the Eagle, when he comes back, right, and he, take, he takes over for the Eagles and they bring in Doug, uh, you remember, in order for them to get... Uh, Carson Wentz at the time, the Eagles were looking for a franchise quarterback. He had to move. He had to, he had to get a first round, extra first round pick. Then he had to move up, like what, a couple times. So he actually traded up, I think, twice. That was unheard of. Nobody heard of that. He traded with Miami, and then from Miami he went up to like two. That was an unheard of thing. It was unprecedented. Okay, and how he made multiple trades to get up that year, and and he went up really high to get Carson Wentz, and then he got him. And then what did that give us? That gives us a Super Bowl. You don't win a Super Bowl if you don't draft Carson Wentz. Because the year he had put the Eagles in the position. Now everything fell fell apart with Carson Wentz later. Um, which brings us to another example of Howie Roseman and his aggressiveness and him doing things not the typical way and being not afraid to do stuff that other people don't do. And at the time, people will scratch their head, people will criticize them, but in, you know, as time goes on, it proves to be worth it. Look at when they cut or they traded uh, Carson Wentz. They traded Carson Wentz. It was unheard of that you take a $53 million dead money hit to trade a quarterback, to get rid of him. The Eagles did it. They ate it and they bit that money. They bit their mistake. And they didn't keep Carson Wentz on, on, on the roster because he was, you know, a big dead money hit. They ate it. That doesn't, that, at that time, that was like record breaking. Nobody had ever done anything like that. Now, teams are more willing to do it because Howie Roseman really set that standard. Okay. Jalen Hurts in the second round. It's unheard of you. You just sign a franchise quarterback to a huge deal, and then you go in the second round and draft another quarterback. And, you know, whether he was doing it to be the backup or he knew Carson Wentz needed to go, it doesn't matter. That's up for debate. But the fact that he had the balls to actually go out there and actually make that draft pick is unheard of. It's unprecedented. Now teams don't. Teams were more willing to do something like that, okay? Last year, another example, A.J. Brown wants a trade. There was a point in time last year where you had D.K. Metcalf, trade talks, Debo Samuel, trade talks, A.J. Brown, trade talks, right? And there was three receivers 
They were all going into their second contract, all wanting extensions, all wanting like $25 million a year. And it was unheard of that the Eagles, even though they had three ones at this point in time, it was unheard of that the Eagles would even consider trading a first round pick for a wide receiver to only for a veteran wide receiver to only give him $25 million a year. Nobody thought that was going to happen. I did videos after videos saying that the Eagles need to trade for one of those three receivers. And people said how he would never do it. He'll never, ever, ever, ever pay $25 million for a wide receiver and give up a first round, especially when the year before you drafted Devontae Smith with a first round pick. The year before that was Jalen Regular. So how he went against the green, he went against what everybody says he's going to do or he should do. He traded for A.J. Brown. Then he traded the other first round pick for a first round pick this year that turns into a top 10 pick in the draft after going to the Super Bowl. You don't go to the Super Bowl if you don't trade for A.J. Brown. Uh, to me, that is what makes Howie Roseman great. That is what makes him exceptional. That's why he's the best GM. It's because he's aggressive. He's not always going to hit every pick right. We can talk about how he's missed players in the draft. His drafting has been suspect. You're not going to get an argument from me. But the aggressiveness, the willing to go outside the box and think, uh, is why Howie Roseman has been successful. And it's, what, it's, what, it's why the Eagles are where they're at. Uh, because the Eagles lead. They don't, they don't follow other teams. They lead in ideas. This is why when people shoo-shoo the whole running back in the first round thing, I laugh at it because you have no idea what Howie Roseman is capable of. If you think Howie Roseman is really scared to draft a running back or just is committed to it, it'll never happen. I don't believe it. I don't think Howie works that way. Howie, most of the time, they have patterns. But if something comes up, if opportunity happens, Howie will take advantage of. Running backs, Christian McCaffrey, Eagles were going to draft him. He will, he went before they could get him. But they were going to draft him. And that's proof that if, if the situation is right, Howie will take a running back. He'll take a receiver. He'll take a safety. He'll take a corner. He doesn't care. He's going to do what's best for the team. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to go opposite of the trends. Uh, and that is going to be, be what makes the Eagles successful. If you look at all the aggressive things we just talked about with Howie Roseman, okay, all those things turned in to the success the Eagles have had. At least two Super Bowl appearances and one ring so far. So Howie's doing something right. That's why he's the best GM of football. It ain't because he did a few good things here. Or he has a good philosophy about things. It's because he's aggressive. He's willing to take a chance. He's willing to do what has to be done, even though people don't think you should do it or it's not something that is typically done. He's willing to take a chance. And Howie, really, he sets the trends. He doesn't follow them. That's why uh, I look at this draft and I say, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I expect Howie Roseman to work some magic, uh, no doubt about it. Um, that's why I think Howie Roseman is the best GM in football. Why do you think uh, Howie Roseman is the best GM in football? I would love to absolutely know. Uh, with that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. You know what I'm looking for? Maybe you guys could point me in the right direction. I need a like a really good high definition, ultra high definition Blu-ray player. Like I need a really good blu-ray player i want i want to get one uh, i have all these hd ultra um you know uh movies on blu-ray but i i don't i need i need a better hd uh blu-ray player if anybody knows of any good ones let me know denzel washington out